Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this guide, we will show you what to do if your Redmi Note 10 Pro won't turn on and is stuck on a black screen. When a smartphone gets stuck on a black screen and won't turn on, the problem can just be a minor firmware issue, as long as it's not caused by hardware damage. In fact, you may only need to do one or a couple of procedures to fix this. With that being said, here's what you should do. First solution, force reboot your Redmi Note 10 Pro. If there are no visible signs of hardware damage, then your Redmi Note 10 Pro may have powered off due to a firmware crash. That's something you can fix by doing the forced restart. So if your device just won't respond for some reason, here's what you need to do. Press and hold the power key for 10 seconds or more. This will trigger it to boot up. When the logo shows, release the power key and allow the device to continue the boot process uninterrupted. Most of the time, this is the only thing you need to do to make a phone respond again. However, if this procedure fails, then move on to the next solution. Second solution, charge your phone and do the forced restart. If your Redmi Note 10 Pro failed to respond after doing the first solution, then what you have to do next is charge it and do the forced reboot while it's charging. It's possible that the battery was drained and the firmware crashed just before the device powered off. So here's what you should do. Plug the charger to a working wall outlet. Connect your phone to the charger using the appropriate cable. Regardless of whether your Redmi Note 10 Pro shows the charging sign or not, leave it connected to the charger for at least 5 minutes. Now while the device is still connected to the charger, press and hold the power key for 10 seconds or more. If the logo shows, release the power key and it should boot up successfully. However, if this doesn't fix the problem either, then you have to let a technician check the device for you. There's probably an issue with the hardware. We hope that this troubleshooting guide can help you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure you enable the notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new videos. Thanks for watching.